Souls RNG has managed to gain a massive player count from December 2023 all the way to 2024, soaring up into success. Well, how did it start? Let's find out. Gonna break it down. You ain't still in the ground. I be riding in this town. Who you think you are with zero pronouns? Let's start from the beginning. Souls RNG, created by Soul Studios, is a game where players roll for auras that are insanely rare. As of June 2024, it has over 410.6 million visits and started the RNG subgenre. Now let's move on to the developers of Souls RNG. Souls RNG is owned by two people named 53axes and 54xyz, which they both share the owner role. People speculate if they are brothers or not because they have the same name. They along with eight other developers. One developer was fired from Souls RNG because of their bad actions. But enough of that, let's move on to the game mechanics and stuff. Is somebody gonna match my freak? Is somebody gonna match my freak? There are many game mechanics in Roblox Souls RNG. Unfortunately I'm using an AI voice because I'm too lazy to record my actual voice right now. Now moving on. There are several ways to increase your luck in the game. One way is by collecting potions scattered around the map. These potions can boost your luck, increasing the chances of getting rare auras. Another way is by completing a simple obstacle course, or obby, which gives you a 0.30% luck boost. It's not even useful so I recommend not completing the obby. In addition to rolling for auras, players can also craft items at Jake's workshop. These crafted items can provide a constant positive effect, such as increasing your luck or reducing your rolling cooldown time. The game also features different biomes, which can boost the type of aura you get. Alongside biomes, there is also weather and a daylight cycle in the game. The total weather in the game is windy, snowy, and rainy. The daylight cycle in the game doesn't really impact much but they just have unique auras you can obtain. These events can help your chances in getting a rare aura much faster. You can also interact with NPCs around the map. NPCs are non-player characters that give quests or help craft items. There are four NPCs in the game, Lime, Jake, Stella, and a leaked one called the Miner, who doesn't have an official name yet. Souls RNG is popular, but there's a concern about a gambling addiction. The game involves rolling for auras, which is based on luck and can feel like gambling. This can lead to problematic behavior, especially for younger players, as they might spend too much time and money trying to get rare auras. What might be causing this is simply dopamine in the brain. Gambling addiction can harm mental health and finances, causing people to gamble despite negative effects. But despite this, Sol's RNG had quite a mega success, and is continued being worked on. We will see you during ERA 8. I just took a shit inside the water filter at a nurse at home I bound a preschool without a mask, they couldn't catch me no My basement is filled with innocent people, I ain't feed them shit I broke into my neighbor's house and violently touched his kids I have a lot of bodies under the floorboards of my house I feel like John Wayne Gacy, except I don't dress like a clown